In this video, I want you contributing to open source on your first day. Join Eddie Hub is a great way to get involved in open source and to network with the community. And if you need any help, you can ask them questions and you can also help other people too. So in this video, we're going to cover our Hacktoberfest practice repo, where you're going to get involved in the repo by adding your name to the list. It sounds really straightforward, but the first time you contribute to open source, going through the workflow can be scary. So we're going to look at that. We're also going to look at our link free project, which is like Linktree, but an open open source alternative where you can add your profile, your links, and your milestones. It's a great way to have one link to share out where people can access all your socials. Then we're gonna look at the good first issue in the Eddie Hub channel, in the Discord. We have a specific channel so you can find out all the issues that are to the community projects, not just the Eddie Hub projects, but other community members and their projects that have good first issues. It's a great place to get more involved, but don't stay there. You're gonna to wanna to challenge yourself and push yourself further. And then we're gonna look at projects submitted for review. It's a great way to look at other people's projects in the community. It's a great way for you to contribute to those projects by raising issues, making changes, no matter how new you are to tech. If today is your first day, you're not only gonna to contribute to open source, but you're going to help other people with their projects because your perspectives can add so much value. And I wanna show you how you can search GitHub for issues and labels and technologies that you're interested in. Another great way is to look at projects that you're already using. So we'll get into that. So let's jump straight into it. So number one, Hacktoberfest practice. So if you go to the Eddie Hub, GitHub org, and you scroll down, we do have Hacktoberfest practice. It might not be in this order because GitHub organizes it to have the most recent activity at the top. So Hacktoberfest practice, let's go have a look at this repo. And there are instructions in the readme. If they're not perfect, which no documentations are, make some suggestions, let's chat about it in Discord, raise an issue, you get a green square for raising an issue. And if you can make improvements, then raise a pull request, you get more green squares, one for the commit, one for raising the pull request. But don't forget to share the green squares with other people in the community. It's another great way to collaborate with people. So what you'd have to do on this repo is you can actually do it all within the browser. So the idea is that you would add your name to this file. And a great way to do it is you can just do it by hitting the edit button and GitHub will automatically fork that repo. By forking, I mean it's gonna take a copy of that project into your account because you do not have permissions to change this specific repo in the GitHub organization under Eddie Hub. But you can click on edit, GitHub will take a copy of that into your account. Then you can make all the changes that you want. In this case, it's just adding your name alphabetically. But then once you're done, you can raise a pull request back to our repo. So what that means is your changes you made in your project, then you can make some suggestions and say, hey, I'm making a suggestion as a pull request. Can you review it and either leave some comments or accept it? Most of the time, we just accept it in this repo as long as it is alphabetical. And it's a great way for people to discover your GitHub because you're gonna put a link on your name to go to your GitHub profile. This is such a great way to practice the workflow, practice collaborating with other people in the community via pull requests. And for the first time, it can be a little bit scary. So let's break that ice and then we can get you into a more juicier, bigger contributions. I'm not gonna show you how to do it. Do you know why? Because I want you to go through the documentation here, the steps we have. And if something isn't clear here, there's nothing wrong with you, there's something wrong with our project, and by you giving us feedback on it, we can make those improvements. So we can make it more collaborative and easier for other people after you to contribute to this project and get involved in open source. So number two, we have another project called Linkfree, which as I mentioned before, is an open source alternative to Linktree. So let me show you what that looks like, and then we'll look at the code afterwards. So this is the landing page. And since I've looked at it, we also have this filter. That is very awesome. So let's go to mine. So let's go to personal and let's go to Eddie. And we all get a, a unique link for this. You can actually use this link. So it's linkfree.eddiehub.org forward slash Eddie Child. So I can use this and people can find my GitHub, my Twitter, my YouTube, my LinkedIn, any other links I want to add. But also they get this kind of poly work kind of effect where you can have your milestones. So started freelancing, started YouTube, GitHub star of the year and so forth. So you can add your profile to this project by adding a JSON file with your GitHub username. 
So there are, again, instructions on how to do this in the README. And we also have automated tests for this project. So when you make the pull request, the automated test will run just to make sure everything is still working. And the way you need to do this is literally create a JSON file with your details. And a lot of these details are optional, so you can add to this later on as it goes along. So now you're getting yourself out there more and involved in the community. Another thing that you can do and I recommend is looking at the features and ideas that people have suggested. So we've got issues, we've got lots of ideas here. Maybe you can implement some of these ideas. And some of these ideas are fairly small. It's a great way to get started. And some of them are much bigger. But once you get involved, and as you add value to any project, the more times you add value, the more people are going to help you. So you can keep challenging yourself and adding bigger and bigger features and challenging yourself to do things you're not usually doing. So you can keep learning, which I think is awesome. So in the Eddie Hub Discord, we actually have a channel called Good First Issues, where we don't have a lot of discussions. We have first timers discussion, we have help and other channels where you can discuss. But in the Good First Issues channel, we want the community to share their Good First Issues in their project. And actually, this has given me an idea that we could maybe build a project, a web page that looks for the good first issue labels, maybe with Eddie Hub in there as well. So we don't have to search the entire GitHub for all good first issues, but maybe the ones to the community projects. But here you can find issues that people have raised that have actually instructions to how to do it. So again, you can get familiar with their community projects as well as the Eddie Hub projects, which I think is awesome. So I highly recommend looking at that. Next up, projects submitted for review. So let's have a look back at the Eddie Hub organization. If we go to the support repo and then go to the issue section, you'll see some labels like GitHub profile review, and live stream review and so on. So let's create a new issue. We're not going to create one. Oh, you see the different types. So we have a GitHub profile review and that will automatically add the label to your issue. That's what you want. And then we also have open source project review and we also have resume and portfolio review. They will all also get the live stream review label in addition to their specific one. So when I'm on a live stream, I can filter by this and we can jump between profile reviews, resume reviews, portfolio reviews, open source reviews. But the reason why I'm mentioning this is you can also review these too. It's a great way to collaborate with people. So for example, if I pick one, you can see straight away that people have already four comments, left comments, given ideas and given feedback. And you can do that too. Not only give feedback to collaborate with the community, but also you can raise these as issues on their repo. And you can actually make the changes as well if you want. I recommend raising the issue first, making sure the person wants the change. And if they do, you could say, hey, can I make the change? But if it's a small change and you really want to do it and you don't mind if they don't accept it, then you could raise the pull request. But don't get upset if they do close it if you haven't had a discussion already. Next up, community projects. Do have a look not only at the good first issue, but also the help or the front and back end channels. It's a great way to see what people are working on. Maybe you can help those people with their projects contribute and get involved with theirs too. I think this is a great way to really grow your network. I don't understand why people keep posting their GitHub profile link in Discord and saying, hey, follow me, follow me, follow me. It's not going to work. If you're asking for a review, I think that's a fair way or introducing yourself as a fair way to share your link. But after that, if you want to get followers on your GitHub, the best way to do it is to contribute and add value to other people's projects, then they're going to check you out and they're going to drop you a follow. So two tips in that one. So you can actually search the whole of GitHub for labels and technology. So for example, right at the top here at the issues, you can search the whole of GitHub. So by default, it's filtered by me as the author. But what you could also do is filter by any label you want. So you could, fil you could click on this and filter by documentation. And it's still filtered by me. So I want to remove that. I'm just going to say search the whole of GitHub for the label documentation. So you can see all of these repos that I've never come across before, but it's giving me a view on these. You can search by multiple labels as well, and you can even search by technology. So here you can see I filtered by documentation label, but also language JavaScript. So it's a great way to keep filtering. You can combine these, you can have multiple labels. Last but not least, look at the projects you're already using. Are you using certain NPM packages or any other library or technology uh, packages that you're using dependencies in your own language, be it PHP, Python, Java, and so forth? You're using those all the time. Can you contribute to those? Have you found a bug? Can you improve the automated testing, the code coverage, the documentation? That's a great way to get involved in open source. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to join Eddie Hub, the most inclusive and supportive community. A big shout out to all the Eddie Hub members. You're all awesome. Thank you so much for being so welcoming and so inclusive in our community. 
Don't forget to join our Discord so you can chat between videos and live streams to the community and myself. I'll see you there.